What's up guys, it's Ugly Strew here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Doom 2's Eve Eternity. We are moving on to map 29, Elysium. Now, Elysium is probably the coolest and most interesting map in the WAD, and I know I say that an awful lot, but the map is just so damn unique. And aside from one particular headache, I think the map is quite flawless. It's kind of reminiscent of Epic 2, which in case you guys didn't know, is one of my favorite WADs ever released. But it has its own unique elements to it, where you can tell that it's a Dragonfly map. The map was actually designed by both Dragonfly and Eris Falling, who is a veteran on the Doom World forums, and I believe I may have even played Xandronum or Skulltag with him back in the day. The name sounds awfully familiar, but I don't know. Anyway, the music, the architecture, and the wide open space to explore, they all make the map so incredible and remind me so much of the masterpiece that is Epic 2. The level's difficulty is up there though, and the end of the map really feels like the most insane encounter in the entire WAD. It's actually quite scary, but what is good about the level is that the level can be played however you want, and it's quite generous on ammo, so we can choose to either run right through everything and have all of the monsters in fight, or we can take our time and bundle up as much as we can in order to drop a nice BFG nuke or whatever we want. Regardless, the freedom of gameplay here is what really makes the level so great, and I don't want to spoil much else with the map, so let's go ahead and just get started. Also expect a lot of deaths, because like I said, this map is not easy. Um, so that is the entrance closing up from the last map. Everything then just gets really dark, so we gotta do a 180. Immediately come down here, we can jump around here. And let's just admire all of this just detail and just incredible architecture that is this room. It is just, it's it's remarkable. Whoever was responsible for this room, this is this is gorgeous. Also, we have these little jump pads, which I've never really encountered in Doom before, so I think that's pretty neat. We'll go ahead and hit the switch. Immediately run back this way. Grab all of these here. And we have an interesting encounter. We have Zombie Man. Nope, we have two Cyber Demons. <laughs> and we have to get everything to sort of infight because on the other side here we'll have some Hell Knights that teleport in. Which it looks like we got them infighting pretty easily. But, never mind. We'll kind of just hide behind them over here. Kind of just loop, loop around them a little bit. I think all the revenants are dead. That's very convenient. This midi track also is is phenomenal. Ooh, god! It's not as fitting for the map <laughs> as I want it to be, but it's still a good midi track. You know what? Let's just go for it. Fuck it. That other Cyber Demon turned on me. Nice! We are starting off fantastic right now. I'm loving it. Okay. I feel like that is definitely going to change, but let's see. Um, the next thing we'll do is there's a Pain Elemental over there that we'll want to take out. Just because Pain Elementals are a real pain in the ass in this map. It's too big of a map, and the Lost Souls can just go everywhere. I'm going to try to be a little bit more patient with this level, though. So, this might be a long video. But in order to avoid dying, and because I can kind of be patient, I will. The reason why I say I can be patient is, like I mentioned before, there's a lot of ammo in the map. And you don't have to rely strictly on infighting. Is that a zombie man? What the hell? Is that the zombie man from before? I don't know if there's actually one down there or not. If so, wow, he made some. He covered some ground. We'll go around here now. We'll shoot some rockets down there. And yes, we will go back up for that soul sphere and mega armor, because I don't know if we're really going to be back in the area. Ah, uh, that's a lot of imps. That was a failure of a rocket. Anyone with eyes could have seen that one. Didn't need to announce that. But like I said, there is plenty of ammo. I'm um, not going to grab that other cell pack. I know I said there is a lot of ammo, but you do still need to kind of be smart with it. Let's go grab the soul sphere and mega armor. You know, I'm not going to grab the mega armor. Because 172 armor to waste is kind of a big deal. 
And we can get back here, so just in case, I'll leave it behind. We'll hop on this jump pad. And hop on this jump pad. I don't want to pick that up yet. Immediately take out the plasma rifle. Come down here, immediately come back here. We have Nightmare Demon. We have some imps in the forest. Imps in the forest. Saying that while playing Doom. That is interesting. Try telling that to someone back in 94. <laughs> Okay, they're all dead. Uh, yep, yeah, we can safely pick this up now. Move on here. And I should probably save here. Because this is gonna kill me. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that up yet. We have Cyber Demon, we're gonna fire. So we can try to get everything to infight. Come on, fire some rockets, there we go. Immediately gonna run past all of them. Come down here for a second. And we're gonna start covering some ground out here. And we have to be careful because the revenants will make their way back in here. Uh, chances are they're gonna kill that cyber demon. Every time I've played this map, they have killed the cyber demon. So yeah, we can't spend too much time out here. We main, mainly need to kill the beefier guys. And then Arachnotron. Yeah, we're already getting shot up by a Revenant rocket. Ow. Nope, he's still busy. Let's kind of dance around him a little bit. Let's make this interesting. Ooh, not that interesting. <laughs> That's a lot of Revenant missiles. A lot of revenants that don't fucking like me right now. <laughs> Cyber Demon dead? I think I just saw his corpse. Nope. Nope, not the weapon I wanted out. can't have that much health left. There you go, okay. Mm, I'm not gonna pick that up now. Let's make sure I can clear out this outside area first. I think there's still stuff alive. No, everything is dead. That's looking good, okay. Um, what we'll do next is we'll come up here. We can see that the yellow key teleports in, but we can't get to it yet. Uh, we don't have any keys, so we can't hit any of these switches. But if we follow this little trail of teleporting pots, little health potions, we'll follow the trail. Shit, I didn't want to grab that green armor, but today I fucking learned that 100 blue armor, or 100 green armor, a green armor will not overwrite 100 blue armor. Oh, fuck, forgot about this. Didn't mean to scream in your ear, guys. I'm sorry for the ear rape every video. My microphone is just very sensitive to loud screaming. Luckily, there's a lot of room to run around in here, so the arena has gotten much larger. I love what people were saying, like, um, my reactions were, like, staged. Or, like, I overreact to my videos. I really don't, dude. I get just caught the hell off guard all the time. <laughs> like... I'm not, I, I totally forgot about the Cacodemons. Demons. I have no practice in this map. I've run through it twice. Okay. Now. now we can fill up on our rockets. I think I might have grabbed all the cell packs. Looks like I did, but that's okay. We can grab the Soul Sphere. And I'm not gonna go for the green armor just yet. 75 blue armor should be enough for this next area. Um, once again, gonna save, because we are having a beautiful run right now, and I don't want something to ruin it. Something like this. It's probably the wrong weapon for that, but... 
Yeah, there are two uh, Annihilators out here that I need to make in fight. Probably getting really, uh, what's it called? Woo! Getting a little too, uh, happy with this BFG here. Took a lot of damage there, but it is it is okay. I just was not really prepared for it. The plasma rifle was probably the best uh, weapon there. Cause I just spam. Oh, pain elemental. Fuck. I spammed way too much with that. Oh, for Christ's sake! You're really gonna have to do that. I spammed way too much with that BFG. I was getting way too spray happy. Well, it's good as he's on the same elevation as me, so I should be able to snipe him. Yes. Her. She gives birth. It's a woman. Okay. Uh, no more cell packs out here. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport down here. Not teleport, but jump back. And we could lose some frames. Drop a few frames there. Because of how epic this, uh, this area is. This is probably like one of the prettier parts of the map. If not the prettiest. Although that first room is really, really nice. <laughs> Just use the shotgun here. Now I am using a Z Doom port, so I have to kill all the lost souls. Just kind of annoying, but okay, that's everything for this. We can actually see where this takes us takes us really around like the uh, the backyard and drops us back down to the start where we can now go up and grab the soul sphere which did I already grab yeah I did I didn't grab the mega armor which unfortunately I don't need at the moment but that's okay and we can whoop, and use our jump pads I think dragonfly also did another project that included those jump pads or something similar but anywho Out on rockets again. Uh, yeah, we can go down here this time. Yeah, they come down here. Fire a couple of rockets. We have some asshole cack demons. Which are kind of awkward to kill on this angle. So it might be better to use a different weapon. <laughs> And we're looking pretty maxed out, other than on cells, which I wish I had more of for this next area. Which also may kill me, so I'm going to save. This area is probably, like, one of the most dangerous area areas in the map, other than, like, the end and one particular pain in the ass part. And if you've played this map before, you know which pain in the ass part I'm talking about. Okay, um, how do I want to do this? Uh, four cells isn't gonna kill me. All right, we'll grab that. Get me running here. Try not to get scratched. There we go. And try to hug this back wall here so that we don't get killed by the two cyber demons up on that ledge. Um, well, my voice just cracked there because I almost killed myself with a rocket. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm faking my emotions, guys. Totally. Alright, um, and probably from here on out, we'll just use the plasma rifle and take these guys out, Only, at least until we have one of them, and then we could play a little bit more dangerously, but we have to be super cautious here, because those rockets can really make you dance. See, that can get dangerous real fucking quick. Alright, they gotta be almost dead. These are some beefy side -ies.
Dude, I'm like 350 cells into these guys. And not one of them has died. This is insane. Okay, so I was hitting them both, that's why. Alright. We were, yeah, we were on the... The final cells that we even had in our inventory there, so... It's a good thing we killed them. Hit that switch now. These textures kind of seem out of place, but it seems cool, because it's like, uh, hey, this room is the demon's room in heaven. So it's kind of, like, marked accordingly. It's just, like, the little details that are everywhere in this map are just so incredible. And now this whole side is done. We finished that side, so now we just have to jet across here. And fuck, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I wish there were more cell packs laying around somewhere. I used way too much ammo in that last room. I should have just went and just uh, shotgun the last guy. To save ammo, but it is what it is. Oh wait, I forgot we're given three cell packs. Excuse my complaining. If you do need armor, there's a green armor down here. Nothing else of interest, but cross. Fuck, I forgot about this part. Forgot about this part. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna die. I forgot there were fucking uh, nightmare demons there. Oops. I really need more practice. <laughs> I like how I got trapped in the trees, too. Alright, we'll shop on the rest of them. There's plenty of them around. God, that sucked. I don't know if I can get back to get my mega armor. Um, we hit this switch. This is actually going to be secret number one. It's behind that red key. This wall will lower and we can grab a supercharge. Oh, can I get back though? I don't think I can. Not at the moment anyway. Go get my mega armor. Oh, maybe I can. That's kind of cool. Uh, can I get back to the start from this way? I cannot. Okay. So I'm going to have to go all the way around to go grab it. Is it even worth it at this point? <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> I'm like thinking. The more I think about it, it's like the more I really want that. Uh no, you know what? I'm like so on the fence with it, but I don't care. Let's go for it. I get to enjoy the music anyway. I cut, what, a minute off of my time or something? I'd rather have the extra armor for this next part, because it sucks. It starts off shitty because I can't see anything. And then just gets shittier and shittier. Not like from like a map design perspective, it's just like, it's... Uh, if you're immersing yourself in a, in a game like this, it's a place that you don't want to be. <laughs> but why would a map 29 be easy, you know? Let's go. Max out on cells. There's another cell pack there and a green armor. Alright. Let's go. Need at least start spraying around because we got specters here. We also have uh, a Rackletron up top there. I really don't want to use too many armor. There's plenty of room to run around, though. It's like you don't really need to use your plasma rifle. It just helps make... It makes things a little bit quicker. And I can kind of see what I'm doing now. I played this map like while there was like a glare on my computer screen, and I couldn't see jack shit. It was a practice run, so I put on the, uh, the light cheat code. Because it's like... 
why not? <laughs> it's not affecting the gameplay at all. It's just I can't see anything. Okay. I think that's all the specters. Apparently not. No, oh, hi Pancake, you gotta get down. I know. This is Pancake, say hi Pancake. I should have to take this part kind of slow. Because I need to lose the least amount of health and armor possible here. Take this one step at a time, literally. All like body shaking right now, dude. Like it's like it knows what's coming up. I'm so terrified of this part. Like actually, I'm more terrified of this part than I am the end of the map, and that's arguably the harder part. I need to save rockets. What am I doing? Oh, I can spare a few more. Oh! Astrocaco. Oh god! Forgot about him first off, second off he trapped me in an SOB. I think I still have enough to do this. But if I recall correctly, now there's, I, I think there's another Astral Caco somewhere. There he is. I don't care how much I need to retreat here. He needs to die before he gets close to me. There we go, okay. Oh, those are just imps. Thank god. Should probably take him out now, why not? They're easy to forget about, these guys. here. Oh, there's another one. I only have 70 rockets. Not a lot of shotgun shells. Oh god. I could cap out before this next part. <sighs> BFG time. Save time. Come up here. Grab as much ammo. Fill up as much as you can. Immediately jump down here. And we have a disgusting, disgusting trap that I'm just going to spam as much BFG into as I possibly can. And that's just part one. Part two is this. Ow. And then part three is also up there. The Nightmare Demons. Okay, so now I think we just have Nightmare Demons to worry about. I think we killed all of the um, Revenants. I know we killed all of the Astral Cacos off. Okay, wow, that went a lot smoother than it should have. Wow, that was everything. <sighs> that trap is usually a lot harder. But I'm not as scared for the rest of the map now. Although, this encounter I might die at, and I don't want to redo that at all. So. <laughs> oh, that was pro. That looked pro as hell. Oh, man. Okay. Go grab the mega armor here.
Dude, I'm not that good at this game. I'm just getting really lucky. Let's stop back here. Jump in here, grab our red key. Trapped in that tree maze again. Um, let's go back. I hope I killed all the Lost Souls, because I really don't feel like getting a uh, another non-100% run here. But I also don't feel like going to dig for them. So, hit both these switches, grab our yellow key, hit our yellow switch. And this is really cool here. We see that thing get blasted off, and then we have Sonic Rings. Let me save here. And now we're moving on to the final area of the map that I am oh so scared of. I hope I have everything. We'll get uh, flinged into the wormhole here, and we are brought back to map one. This is cool. But there's nothing here. But I'm missing 130 some odd monsters. Hmm. What could this possibly be? Hit the switch. Let's just go grab our secrets first. Yeah, the secrets are all the same, too. Bring us up here, grab Megasphere. And then. Oh, I'm so scared of this. <laughs> I don't have much success here. I've only beaten this part once, and it was out of sheer luck, and I've died so much here. Hit the switch, grab the BFG. And our final secret is back there, but I'm not gonna grab it just yet. I'm so scared of this, guys. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, I swear to Christ. You'll see why. Uh, Alright. Hit the switch. I'm gonna do Admiral's trick. Admiral, thank you for this. I watched your playthrough of this map. And I now know about this here. Everything in the kitchen sink is gonna teleport in. And try to kick my ass. And in the meantime, we might have some stuff sneak through the secret door. What our goal is here is I need to have one of the Cyber Demon Rockets fire at me. The fighting is not working right now. We need a Cyber Demon in fight, not so much everything else. There's some pissed off revenants in the back, man, I tell you. Oh, there we go. I want our kill count to get down to like 20 remaining monsters here. There's also, I think there's three cyber demons up there, but there are also, I think, three arch vials. And the arch vials are actually what make it very difficult. The cyber demons, I can take on, it, I can spam them with uh, rockets, shotgun shells, plasma. I can spam them with whatever I really want to, from either back here, down below, wherever. Yeah, 80 monsters is not okay. We need more to die. <laughs> I got so lucky on that damage, though. My god. I was untouched there. I don't see the arch file, so... Excuse me. There's one of them. And he's in fighting, so... The chance of him, di the chance of him dying is quite high. They're actually infighting with a lot of things over there. Maybe there's only two arch files? I only see... No, I think I see three of them. I'm not sticking my head out there long enough to count. 
Man, they're still alive though, man. They are eating rockets. Well, a rocket from a Cyber Demon doesn't do as much damage to an Archbile as one of our rockets, I'm pretty sure. There's a different algorithm there. Oh, he's revived. There we go. Okay, both Archbiles are dead now. Um, I mean, they're still infighting. I could literally take my time here. I think that's enough, though. Alright, let's go brave this. Let's go, boys! Woo! Another Kalat! Let's go! That is a lot of things. Look at the freaking cojones I have when I have a BFG out and just like unlimited ammo for it. It's glorious. That was the easiest time I've had in this map ever. Look at all of the bonuses I have left over. Granted, I played that like a bitch. But like... I, I swear I've had more more difficulties there. I swear even playing that map like this part like a bitch, I've honestly been like... I've had a very, very tough time. But, you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. I will take it. Easy game. Easy game, easy map. I don't know why I'm bothering collecting shit. Because... Because goodbye. Strew went boom. And that was Elysium. <laughs> I only collected 55% items! Because I just didn't need to grab other things. Why did was why was that so easy? Ugh. Anyway, what a phenomenal finale to that map, as well as just a great build-up to the final boss that we're going to see in map 30. That wormhole effect that portals us to the Slaughterfest version of map 1 was hands down the coolest thing I've ever seen in Doom. And I've really got to hand it to these two guys for this map, because it is a masterpiece. This is a work of art. I know I say that a lot, but this one is so damn cool. There are things that are done with the Doom engine in this map that I didn't think, I, I couldn't even fathom. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just so much about this map that is so incredible. The attention to detail was insane. Everywhere that you go in this level, and just the small things, like you have like your added levels in the terrain and the grass, or the flora and the, the forests, or the interesting texture use in the architecture. These are just few of the many great attributes in this level's physical design. The ammo and the health and um, the balance of all of that was pretty much flawless in this level. Um, so props to them for the proper playtesting and gameplay balance there. And speaking of balance, one thing that I should elaborate more on is that Astral Cacodemon pit where we grabbed the red key. It's kind of, it, it kind of felt out of place with the rest of the map, both with its difficulty spike and with its lack of health there. I also felt like the lack of room to really maneuver or kite the monsters um, just kind of felt weird in such a grand map like this. But I'm seriously just nitpicking at this point because it isn't enough to take away from how glorious this level is. So, anyway, thank you for watching everyone, and I will see y'all next time at map 30, which is eternity. Whew. We did it, boys. Let's do this.